Welcome to our daily devotional series. As we're looking at the book of Romans and studying sin, faith, and salvation, I remind you that, that Paul is writing to a church that's made up of those who were formerly Jewish by religion and those who were I, worshipers of idols, so Jews and Gentiles, and their tension that they're having between the two groups as they're trying to navigate what it is to be a, a follower of Christ as opposed to what they were and how their backgrounds are influencing their, their thought processes at this point. So as Paul writes these things, we and then we have that in the background, we can begin to understand what he's saying in Romans and then how it applies to us. So with those thoughts in mind, let's go to Romans chapter 11, Romans chapter 11, verse 11. I, I say then, did they stumble so as to fall? May it never be, the they there being the, the Israelites, the Jews. But by their transgression, salvation has come to the Gentiles to make them jealous. Now, if their transgression is riches for the world, then their failure is riches for the Gentiles. How much more will their fullness be? But I'm speaking to you who are Gentiles, and as much as I am an apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my ministry. If somehow I might move to jealousy my fellow countrymen and save some of them, for if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? And if the first piece of dough is holy, the lump is also. And if the root is holy, the branches are too. But if some of the branches were broken off, and you being a wild olive were grafted in among them and became a partaker with them of the rich root of the olive tree, do not boast against the branches. But if you do boast against them, remember that it is not you who supports the root, but the root supports you. You will say then branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. Quite right. They were broken off for their unbelief, but you stand by your faith. Do not be haughty, but fear. For if God did not spare the natural branches, he will not spare you either. Behold then the kindness and the severity of God to those who fell, severity, but to you, God's kindness, if you continue in his kindness, otherwise you also will be cut off. And they also, if they do not, if they do not continue in their unbelief, will be grafted in, for God is able to graft them in again. For if you were cut off from what is by nature a wild olive tree and were grafted contrary to nature into a cultivated olive tree, how much more will those who were the natural branches be grafted into their own olive tree? Grafting wild branches, cultivated branches, wild trees, cultivated trees, Jews, Gentiles. <coughs> Excuse me. Paul is saying... There's no argument against the Jews, and they can just be forsaken forever. They can be brought back in through Christ, just as you were brought in through Christ. They were rejected because they rejected Christ, and because they rejected Christ, their unbelief gave you room to come in to Christ. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm talking to you. So don't be haughty and think, look, you know, we're grafted in. They're nobody. We're somebody. No, 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 no. Uh, they are. They provided the support structure because of their relationship with God for you to have that relationship now. So it's not about Jew. It's not about Gentile. It's not about being rejected. It's not about being accepted. It's about Christ. And notice what he says in this section about being grafted in in verse 22. Behold, then the kindness of in the severity of God. God's kindness is meant to bring us in, whether we are Gentile or Jew. We see God's love. We see God's compassion. We see his grace in, through Christ. And that's what we want. So that brings us to him. But also God's severity. For those that reject Christ, for those that reject God, punishment. It's their choice. But those who come to God and put their faith and trust in him, there is life. There is eternity. There is forgiveness. There is grace. It's offered to everyone. Will you be grafted in? to God's family. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, I thank you so much for the blessings you give us. Father, I thank you for opening the way for everyone to come to you. Father, thank you for your love and your care. Thank you for Jesus. 
And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to join you as we spend time in God's Word. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day.